that night our private concert rocked deep into the night. We got complaints from the neighbors, but that wasn't much of a surprise. Better be. Do you have any idea what time it is? Yes, I'm sorry. Kids nowadays have no respect. We'll try to be quieter from now on. Why do we always have trouble with apartment 707? It must be a curse. Now, now, Miss Yamada, don't talk about that. There was a murder in our apartment? <laughs> the tenant before us was killed! Who told you a story like that? Miss Yamada! And who's that? I don't know, one of the neighbors! She was in a negligee, hair all done up, and wearing lots of makeup. Why makeup at night? Maybe she's got a lover who's younger than her. I couldn't care less about Yamada. But it's bugging me. What kind of guy is he? A gigolo? Whatever. So you're saying that this Yamada woman told you the previous tenant got murdered in our apartment? Well, no, she didn't exactly say that. But she did say they've always had trouble with 707, and it must be a curse. So it's gotta be a murder. What else could it be? God damn it, go to bed! Uh, do you think I said something to make her mad? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the rent for this place is so cheap, you might be right. I mean, I guess it could have happened. You think so? You really think it was a murder? What if there's a ghost? I'm too scared to go to bed on my own. Hey, if you want, I'd be more than happy to sleep with you, Nana. What? No way! I have a boyfriend. I'm really flattered, but no! I was just kidding. Tell you what, I'll go sleep in Nana's room. That way you can sleep in my bed, okay? You must be exhausted after your trip. You don't have to give up your bed. I can crash out here. <gasps> no, <laughs> you can't do that! Nobu, you have to sleep in my room tonight so that Nana won't have any choice but to let me sleep in her room with her. There's no way I can sleep on my own tonight, and I can't sleep with you, so you gotta help me out here. Well, I guess when you put it like that, it looks like I'm gonna be sleeping in your room tonight whether Nana likes it or not. Thank you! Wow, this bedroom's huge. You got so much space. Yeah, we lucked out with this place. I gotta work in the morning, so let me just grab some clothes, then I don't have to wake you tomorrow. Uh, you work? Yep. Really? So you gotta get up early, and we've kept you up all night? Oh, don't worry about me. I don't have to leave until around 10 o'clock, so I'll get a chance to sleep in a little bit. Besides, I had so much fun tonight. I never had the chance to see a live band up close and personal before. It was amazing. You guys were totally <laughs> awesome. You ain't seen nothing. Just wait till you see us with some drums and bass added to the mix. When it's just the two of us, you can't really call us a band. I can't wait to find some other members so we can start playing real gigs. You need to get a couple more people, huh? Oh, I wish I knew how to play the drums or something. Oh, but I guess I could play the tambourine. <laughs> tambourine? You know, the kind they have at karaoke. Looks like a big ring. I rock at that. I bet that means you got a pretty good sense of rhythm. Pretty good. What I really want is for Yasu to be our drummer. No matter where I look, it's gonna be pretty tough to find someone as good as him. You mean Nana's friend Yasu? I had no idea he was a drummer. Why doesn't he just move down here as well? That would solve your problem. <laughs> he won't come. He's a working stiff now. He also said he doesn't want to risk trying to make a living playing music. <laughs> what risk?
risk is that? <laughs> the way he looks, I think it's a bigger risk going into a courtroom than it is appearing on stage. <laughs> what about your bass player? Huh? Who did you have on bass? Where are they now? Maybe they could come to Tokyo with you. Well, that guy's in another band now. He was never officially with us anyway. How come? Most of the time he played in his own band back at home. But he used to come and help us out by playing with us when we had a gig. I didn't know musicians did that kind of stuff. <sighs> Guess Nana hasn't really told you anything. About what? Like about the band and stuff. Oh, no. Nana doesn't like to talk about herself too much. But after hearing her sing tonight, I think I understand where she's coming from a bit better now. I guess the reason why she moved to Tokyo was so she could make it as a professional singer. Yeah. That's always been her dream. To be able to make a living off her singing. She was pretty well known back at home. Lots of crazy fans and stuff. She needs to start singing here. I just know Tokyo will go wild for her. Totally. We need to get her out there singing on stage. First, we need to find some new members for the band. How hard can that be? Then they can play live and everyone will fall in love with Nana's voice. She'll probably even get picked up by a major record label. Hey, Nana, are you asleep? Yes. <laughs> You're not asleep or else how could you answer my question? I talk in my sleep. This is freaky. My heart's beating so hard I can't sleep. You still scared of the ghost, you big baby? No, I'm not scared. It's more like excitement about something. Oh? Listen, I hate to break it to you, but I don't do it with girls, okay? I don't mean that kind of excitement. Would you just shut up already? If you can't get to sleep, I'm gonna kick you out. Do you think you might need a tambourine player in the band? No. I've never been so psyched about something in my life! Huh? What the hell's this? Huh? Ah. Shoji! You're here just in time! I was about to go to Jackson's. Do you want to come with me? Sure. What's up with this flyer? Did you do it? It's totally your style. I recognize the way you draw the eyes. Yep. Don't they look like Nana and Nobu? Hmm. Who's this Nobu? She wants to sing professionally? Well, that's a tall order. I know, but I totally think she should go for it. Well, that's great if she thinks she can actually make it. But I'm not so sure success is going to come as easy as you think. What if she doesn't make it? It's all cool. I mean, everything's been going right ever since I decided to move to Tokyo. I don't think this is really about you. Whatever. Want to go to karaoke tonight with me and Nana? You gotta hear her sing. And I'll be there playing the tambourine. Sorry, I can't. I gotta work late tonight. Not again. Why are you always working so much? Your parents send you money, don't they? The measly amount they send me is nowhere near enough to live on. And once school starts, I won't have as much time to work, so I gotta put in as many hours as I can now to save up some cash. You're spending it all on your other girlfriend, Sachiko. Designer bags, designer shoes. Yeah, she's got expensive taste. <gasps> I'm joking, I'm joking. You're the one who started it all. Yeah, but when I moved all the way to Tokyo, it was to be with you. And now I hardly ever see you. You're always working, day in, day out. I just wish you'd make some time for me, that's oh, all. Oh, come on. Now you're being ridiculous. I do make time for you. It was you who bailed out early on me last time we were together. Maybe you should try to consider how I feel. Why should I be the one who has to work around your schedule all the time? Uh, uh. Hey, I hate to interrupt, but your Jackson Burger's ready. Koichi Sato! What? I need your help with something. My friends are looking for new members for their band, so I was wondering if you could put this flyer up in the restaurant for me. No, no, you can't do that. He doesn't know those guys. And the customers in this place aren't going to be interested in a punk band. Why not? No, it's cool with me. Nana's a regular customer. You'll put it up? That's awesome! If anyone shows any interest, give them my cell phone number, okay? Give me a pen and I'll write it down for you. I gotta go to work now. Oh, 
I just remembered. Did you text message me last night? Huh? No biggie. Guess it wasn't anything important. I must have fallen asleep and didn't hear the phone beep. Sorry. Did I text him last night? What did I write? suck. I don't know why I sent him that. I've gotten used to him spoiling me. The worst is I don't even remember sending it. Shoji was probably feeling bad because he didn't call me back. That must have been why he came to see me at work. All I do is think about myself. I just wish you'd make some time for me, that's all! Why am I such a selfish jerk? Loser! Why should I be the one who has to work around your schedule all the time? Hmm. Hmm. I know. I'll drop by his work today. And I'll tell him I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. It'll be kind of fun to see Shoji in his uniform. I bet he looks uh, really hot. I'll hello? wait until he gets off work, and then when we're back at his place, Excuse I'll rip that goodness? uniform off him, and then I'll make it up to him. A totally genius um... plan. Oh, I'm sorry. How can I help you? I was looking at the flyer you've got in the window. Wow, so soon? Oh my god, he's a teenage hottie. Sometimes life is too good. So I'm wondering... Sorry, Shoji. I'm not gonna make it tonight. I'll make it up to you some other time. Hope you enjoy your meal. Ugh, it's crazy busy in here today. This place is seriously understaffed. Hey, Shoji, you got a minute? We got a new waitress starting today. Can you look after her, show her around? About time. Sure. Whoa, and she's a babe. It's uh, nice to meet you. I'm Shoji Endo. I'm Sachiko Kawamura. Nice to meet you, too. What was your name? Sachiko. Really? Do you like designer bags and shoes? Huh? Seriously, what the hell is this for? You don't have to put together a resume just to join a band. Well, why not? I thought you might want to know some background info on him before you let him try out for the band. What can a piece of paper tell you about someone? Absolutely nothing. <gasps> ah! Nano, what are you doing? All I want to know is how desperate you are to play and whether you can rock the house when you do. You are too cool. I really hope you're not making fun of me. No, no, I swear, I'm totally serious. Nana said you were cool, but now that I've met you in person, you're even cooler than she described. I know, right? Still, she didn't have to burn your resume. You could have burned the place down, and that wouldn't have been so cool. <sighs> you have got to let me play with you guys. That depends if you're any good. Play something and let me hear what you got. Okay! Hold on, pretty boy. You can't play here. If you do, Ms. Yamada, our crazy neighbor, is gonna freak out on us. Oh, whatever. He's just gonna slap a little bass. No way. Do you want to get us kicked out? If that happens, we're both gonna be totally screwed. And that's exactly what the Demon Lord wants. Demon Lord? Then go find us somewhere to practice. Who, me? Hey, I know a rehearsal studio nearby that we could rent out really cheap. Really? This kid could be useful. I'll just give them a call and see if they're open. And after I've played for you, I'd love to get a chance to hear you guys play, too. Oh, hello. There's no way that kid's 18. I'd put him at 16 tops. Makes me wonder what else he's lying about. Oh, so you did read his resume before destroying it. Awesome! It's available! He's so cute! He better not still be in grade school. Never been in a rehearsal studio before? <laughs> Let's start playing and see what happens. Huh? But Shinichi doesn't know any of your songs. You know how to read music or what? Yeah, sure I do. So, you ready? Yeah, let's do this! <laughs> okay. One, two.
were born to play together. Way to go, pretty boy. Oh, thank God he can actually play. guys did i screw up or something no dude not at all you're doing great way better than we expected what do you say nana he's good right let's let him join so it's shinichi right that's right tell me who your favorite bass player is ren honjo <laughs> isn't that the guy who plays with trap nest yeah this is cool. They're one of my favorite bands. I'm even in their fan club, although I think Takumi's the best. Wow, really? Even though I like Trap Nest, I mostly listen to them because I'm a big fan of Ren's. I played guitar for a long time, but when I heard him play, I decided to switch to bass. But Ren plays lead guitar. Takumi's on bass. Didn't you know? Ren plays the bass too, and he totally rocks at it. Really? Yeah, he played bass on a Sex Pistols tribute album that I used to listen to all the time. It totally kicks ass. You should give it a listen. Wow, I never knew. Guess I gotta do better homework. So that's why you played like Ren. Is that a problem? I'm sorry. I can play other styles if you want. Nah, it's cool. Your style of playing's easy to sing with. You wanna join the band? I'd love to. You're an amazing singer, and I totally dig Nobu's riffs on the guitar. Before you say yes, I want you to promise me one thing. And if you can't promise to do it, you have to split now. Play better than Ren. All right? Yes, ma'am. Your wish is my command. He was great. I never expected us to find someone this fast. And he's so cute. And who discovered him? Who's the one who made it happen? <laughs> Our own little talent scout. What do you want me to do? Bake you a cake? How else can I thank you? Hey, don't throw that on the ground! Honestly! Thank you, Hachiko. Well, I thought you said you weren't into girls. You can't just do that to me. And besides, I have a boyfriend! What a drama queen. It was just a kiss. I mean, it's not like she's a virgin. You never change, do you? Sorry, Shoji. I just made out with someone else. But it was a girl, so it doesn't really count, right? Thank you. Oh, man. I hope she doesn't think I'm a stalker. Excuse me, uh -huh. Miss Kawamura. Uh, calm down. I, I won't hurt you. Oh, thank God it's just you, Shoji. Sorry. You freaked me out. <sighs> you shouldn't be walking down the street on your own. It's not safe. But it's the quickest way to the station. And if I don't hurry, I'm going to miss the last train. Yeah, same with me. You want to run for it together? Okay. I wonder if Sachiko takes the same train as me. We only just made it. Don't tell me you have the same stop as me too, Sachiko. So, which stop are you getting off at, Shoji? Mine's the third one along. And you, Sa Miss Kawamura? The second. Do you think you'll be all right walking home from the station on your own? Yeah, my building's right across the street from the station. That's good. So you'll be okay? Huh? Thanks for the offer, Shoji. That was very sweet of you. She's such a cutie, that Sachiko. Not like virtual Sachiko. This is bad. I'd better stay away from her. Oh, that was so much fun! Stop taking all the covers, it's cold. Hmm. Huh? Listen, I don't want you crossing-
passing this line onto my side of the bed, okay? Whose bed is this anyway? If you don't like it, sleep on the floor. Hmm. Ooh. Uh, come on! Hey! Ooh, I'm over the line. What are you gonna do about it, huh? <laughs> Looking back on it now, the way I felt about you, Nana, felt a lot like falling in love. Even though in many ways I was still a child, you helped me learn to fend for myself in the real world. With you, my life was full of sweet dreams. And it felt like the pure bliss of a first love. I reached into the sky, a more you